Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy. In today's lesson, we've got two example solos over the tune Moon Dance by Van Morrison, one at an easier level and one at a more advanced level. And in these two different solos, I'm gonna walk you through the 10 different techniques I used to create the phrases. Now, the first technique we're gonna use is take the notes that the melody is made up from. For the first few phrases of the melody of Moon Dance, it uses the first, second, third, and fifth note from the scale. So we're gonna use those notes to improvise with to create our first couple of phrases. Check it out. And you can hear how those phrases sound much more connected to the original melody. We're not just like running off into blistering bebop lines straight away. Now you may have noticed along the top of the music we have all the chord symbols. Now it looks like there's loads of chord symbols here but you can see there's lots of repetition and this is what's known as a vamp which is basically just a repeating sequence. What you can do when you have a vamp like this is take the overall key that the vamp is in and here for alto sax it's in A minor and tenor sax it's in D minor so we can take those minor pentatonic scales to improvise with. And this is that second technique. We're going to use the minor pentatonic scale now. Now the next technique we can use is to expand the minor pentatonic into the blues scale. It's basically the note that lives between the fourth and fifth note of the minor scale. And when you add that in, it adds a really kind of bluesy sound. Moving on to our fourth technique, it's a little bit more advanced, it's known as guide tone lines. So we use this technique as we enter into the B section, and in this B section we're now breaking away from that two chord vamp, and we have one measure of chord four moving to one measure of chord one. Now for these guide tone lines, it's useful to know the chord tones. For our guide tone line, essentially what we're doing is finding a smooth pathway from measure to measure as the chords change. So you can see for alto sax, for that first chord, D minor, we're starting on the note F. And then that then moves down to the note E as we hit our A minor chord. It then steps down one more time to the note D as we go back to the D minor. And having these target notes in your mind as you're improvising is a great way to thread your way through the chords as they change. Okay, now to finish off this beginner solo, we're kind of going back to using the melody as our primary inspiration. So what we're doing here is following what's called the melodic contour. So what I'm doing here is following a similar shape to the original melody, but of course you can add in your own variations and mix it up a bit. And for these phrases, I was going back to just using the nice simple minor pentatonic scale to float over the top of these chord changes, which can help free up your mental space and really focus on the shape of the phrase, the contour of the line you're playing. All right, so we'll put it all together now. And down below in the description and the comments, there's a link to get the free PDF of this beginner solo. And premium members of Online Tax Academy will be able to download the performance track, the backing track, and also an extended backing track as well. All right, so here's that beginner version.
Alright, moving on to the more advanced version, what we're going to be doing now is putting this song back into the original key. Now for our new technique, what we're going to be doing is similar to the first technique in the beginner version. What we're going to be doing here is creating our phrases from the first five notes of the minor scale. Now you can almost think of this as like an alternative to your minor pentatonic scale and it can be a really nice one to use when you're improvising particularly in a minor key. Now towards the end of these first couple of phrases I did play one note that isn't from that set of five notes but everything else I'm just using the one, two, three, four, five from the minor scale. Now for the next couple of phrases in the solo we're going back to that third technique of using the blues scale. Now after using that blues scale, the next technique we're going to use is a new one and this is to use the chord triads. And triads are basically like your chord tones, the first, third and fifth. And because we're bouncing back and forth between these two minor chords, I'm just taking those two minor triads to improvise with. So for alto sax we've got this F sharp minor and G sharp minor triads and for the tenor sax we've got the B minor and C sharp minor triads. Okay, moving on to our eighth technique, and this is where we're going to think rhythmically. So what we're doing here is using the idea of playing with triplet rhythms. So I'm going to be using lots of triplet quarter notes and triplet eighth notes. In the third measure of this phrase, I'm also doing a technique which is called playing triplets in sets of four. And that can sound really effective. Basically what I'm doing is coming down a pattern of four notes. And because you can fit 12 eighth note triplets in a measure, and so you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, as we go into the B section, what I was doing here was taking common pieces of language, jazz vocabulary essentially, little licks and phrases that I know, and using them on these chords. So if you have any jazz vocabulary that you're learning at the moment, see if you can use some of that in your improvising over these chords. final technique is a really straightforward one, it's just repetition with variation. So essentially what we do is you play a two measure phrase, you then repeat that two measure phrase but change something small about it. Alright so we'll put it all together now from start to finish. Premium members will be able to print out the PDF You've also got the performance backing tracks and of course the extended backing track as well. If you'd like to become a premium member, just click on the link below and when you're over at Online Sax Academy, click on the Go Premium button. So those are 10 different techniques that you can use and you don't have to use those techniques in those specific places of this song. Experiment with mixing up the techniques and playing them in different orders. I'd really recommend picking out one or two techniques as well and just rotating between the two of them. Playing say a couple of phrases that focus on triplet rhythms and then a couple of phrases that use the blues scale. And by alternating back and forth between those two different techniques you really start to cement the ideas in your mind. Now if you're interested in learning how to 
supervise over at Online Tax Academy, I have a complete course that starts from the very beginning, from the point of view that someone that's never improvised before, all the way up to improvising over tunes like this and beyond. And if you become a premium member at Online Tax Academy, you'll have full access to not only this course, but all the other courses and resources that we have on the site. Let me know in the comments down below how you got on with this tune. As ever, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons, and I'll see you guys next week.